Hello there, Tina Spaulding Trance Channel here to do our lesson number 20 um, from A Course in Miracles book. Lesson number 20 is I am determined to see. We have been quite casual about our practice periods thus far. There has been virtually no attempt to direct the time for undertaking them. Minimal effort has been required and not even active cooperation and interest have been asked for. This approach has been intentional and very carefully planned. We have not lost sight of the crucial importance of the reversal of your thinking. The salvation of the world depends on it, yet you will not see it if you regard yourself as being coerced and if you give in to resentment and opposition. This is our first attempt to introduce structure. Do not misconstrue it as an effort to exert force or pressure. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace. You do not have them now because your mind is totally undisciplined and you cannot distinguish between joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, love and fear. You are now learning how to tell them apart and great indeed will be your reward. Your decision to see it, to see is all that vision requires. What you want is yours. Do not mistake the little effort that is asked of you for an indication that our goal is of little worth. Can the salvation of the world be a trivial purpose? And can the world be saved if you are not? God has one son and he is the resurrection and the life. His will is done because all power is given him in heaven and on earth in your determination to see is vision given to you. The exercises for today consist in reminding yourself throughout the day that you want to see. Today's idea also tacitly implies the recognition that you do not see now. Therefore, as you repeat the idea, you are still stating that you are determined to change your present state for a better one and one you really want. Repeat today's idea slowly and positively at least twice an hour today, attempting to do so every half hour. Do not be distressed if you forget to do so, but make a real effort to remember. The extra repetition should be applied to any situation, person or event that upsets you. You can see them differently, and you will. What you desire, you will see. Such is the law of cause and effect as it operates in the world. And so that statement that you're meant to say every hour or every half hour, I am determined to see. Okay, let's see what uh, Jesus has to say about this one. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and it is an important lesson, this one. You are convinced uh, that you can see. You are convinced that you know exactly what's going on in the world and you are convinced that you know exactly what's right and what's wrong and what should be and what should not be. And you are arrogant in that belief for you are not qualified to make that determination. I am determined to see means that you are humble in your acknowledgement that you may not be able to see right now and that is what will give you negative emotional feedback from your guidance system. If you are looking at something, a situation, person, place, thing or experience and you feel strong negative emotion, you are not seeing it correctly because you are coming at it from the ego's judgmental and narrow focus your very limited experience and understanding of spirituality and spiritual principles and assuming that you know what it means and you do not. And that is what your negative emotional feedback will tell you, that you are looking at it incorrectly, but you have no choice currently on how to look at something. You have been trained into believing certain rigid rules about your current experience of what you call reality and those have been placed in your mind by other beings, generally speaking, although you can come into this incarnation with leftovers from other incarnational experiences. So what you are using to try and determine 
whether what you are seeing is good or bad, is a hodgepodge of many, many different ideas. We are, through these lessons, seeking to align you with love so that you are not at war with the world that you see. And that is where most of you find yourselves in a constant state of judgment, a constant state of fear or anxiety about survival or about what's going to happen in the future, about your relationships and what they mean. So this uh, idea of being determined to see is a wonderful, wonderful, powerful statement to the universe that you know that right now you're not seeing things clearly and you can tell because you're not happy and at peace all the time and that is your messaging system telling you so. You are beginning to get an idea that now we are going to push you a little bit more to pay more attention to what's going on in your mind. And you will fail at times, you will get frustrated at times, and the, the ego mind will say, let us stop these silly lessons. But that is why we are doing this this year, because it is very important for you to really grasp this year that the outside world is not where you should look for, for your safety and for your happiness, that you must go inside and look there in your connection to spirit, in your connection to all that is. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and we will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. That is lesson 20. I am determined to see. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.